What's good family? Welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be breaking down the new Melty Blood type Lumina character Noelle. So story wise she's a new teacher at the Shiki school and seems to idolize love and marriage. She fights with a giant spear as her main weapon. So on to the trailer. They first show her using uh, one of her overhead that honestly seems kind of slow but it does juggle leading to a full combo which she then uses her auto combo which it looks like to launch maybe and it looks like she ends it with a hard knockdown now i'm not sure if that auto combo is a launcher but that's what it looks like to me they show off one of her special moves that seems to leave you airbound for another combo but they don't follow up so i guess we have to wait she then seems to use one of her moon skills which are powerful specials that can be used by using up some of the moon gauge they also deal more damage than regular specials they then show some clash moments which again reminds me so much of Dragon Ball Fighters, which is a large portion of why I'm excited about this game because I feel like the gameplay is going to be very similar to Dragon Ball Fighters as far as the fast pace of it all. We then see her use a shield block and then a shield counter to follow up with an attack. Now I have no previous experience with Melty Blood games so um, I'm not sure how this shield and shield attack works so I guess we're going to have to wait till it's released to fully see how it works. Um, but it seems to be a little bit overpowered because it doesn't require any type of meter or anything to execute It seems like you can just do it basically shit anytime Which seems a little overpowered, but again, we're gonna have to wait to the release to see, you know Well, I will have to wait to the release to see how all that plays out We then see her using an overhead with juggles into her arc drive Which they use three full bars to execute the animation for the art drive looks really cool and really polished for this game. I mean, I know it's coming from some well-known developers, but I think they just did a really good job overall with uh, not only her art drive, but all the other art drives I've seen as well. They just look very anime-like. They look like it's like ripped straight from an anime. Although we didn't get too much in this trailer, and I'm sorry if I've missed a lot of details, because again, I'm not a Melty Blood player, so I don't know the mechanics too well. Uh, but I tried to, you know, give what I saw they were doing and, you know, try to break her down the best of my abilities. I think it was a decent showing of what Noelle could do, even though it was relatively short. Um, but I think, you know, it showed, you know, what her basic moveset would be like. She honestly doesn't look like my type of character. I usually like my characters to have more of projectile based combat and to be a little bit more creative than just a giant spear, honestly. But she is a good addition to the cast nonetheless. I think she, you know, she does add to the cast pretty well. So apparently they will be releasing a new character every week until it's released on September 30th. So I will be covering each one of them as they come out week by week. Thank you guys for making it to the end of this video. If you like fighting games, don't be shy. Hit that subscribe button. And for more Messy Blood, keep it locked here. This has been Prince, and I'm out.